Sometimes you come up with an idea that you think is so smart, so revolutionary, that you're just going to change the entire way that something is done in the future. And other times, that same exact idea is awful and horrible, and you break things, and you ruin stuff forever, and that's exactly what I did yesterday when I tried to mod my Casio Royale, the resin band version this time, with acetone, aka nail polish remover. Mm -mm -mm. I already have a video on the metal band version of the Casio Royale, but I thought I could take it a step further. So when I got this in the mail, I knew I was going to take all the words off this one too. And I thought, why can't I make it just a little bit easier? I saw my wife's nail polish remover in the bathroom. I thought, let's try this out. At first, it went awesome, actually. I thought I had discovered the light bulb until it went south. Let's watch together. This is the theme of the channel and welcome to the channel if this is your first time joining us. We're in the basement of my house in St. Louis, Missouri. The 1010 Club focuses on budget watches, affordable watch collecting, and some do-it-yourself mods. So let's go and watch exactly why you should never ever go near your watch with acetone. All right, some quick dimensions before I ruin this watch. 42 millimeters side to side, 45 millimeters top to bottom, 12 and a half millimeters thick, 100 meters water resistance. I love the depth of this dial. It's actually the same size this watch is as the Seiko SNZH with and lug to lug. It is thinner, although it seems to wear a little bit bigger still. No domed crystal also <laughs> on that Casio. So this bracelet also tapers down quite well, although with most resin straps, there's going to be some gaps, some bounce, as you can see. I'm not a big fan, although the more I wear this watch, the more it does mold to my wrist. So if you also don't like it, don't worry. Just give it a, a little bit of time. It'll break in just like shoes. But we're here for the acetone experiment. So let's get to it. I thought I was being experimental and, and brave. And then all of a sudden, I thought I was a genius. Let's listen. What? time <laughs> my god did i just crack the matrix i thought i made the best discovery i was so proud i said all right let's do a stopwatch to see exactly how long this takes so i pressed start i got to rubbing and well let's listen just one more time and how excited i thought i was 15 seconds <laughs> alcohol took forever and this came right off wow i am flying high right now so i said okay let's go even further let's do the dial by the way there's a video i keep on talking about on how to take this watch apart i'll link that real quick so here i thought i'd be smart and do a side-by-side -side comparison so first i get out the original rubbing alcohol i even start the module timer Pretty sure I got a minor shock, by the way, when I did that. And I said, all right, let's see how far I can get with the original rubbing alcohol in 30 seconds. And the answer is not that far. We've covered that also. You can see basically 30 seconds have elapsed and that word didn't go anywhere. So I said, all right, here comes the hero, acetone. Let's prove to YouTube how smart and creative I am. And you get to rubbing and, well... It was gone. I'm still flying high. I think to myself, all right, let's see how far I can get cleaning this dial in 30 seconds uh, until I realize. Okay, 30 seconds. I start to look closer and I'm seeing how I'm completely ruining the plastic because acetone is a corrosive compound like it it dissolves acrylic nails you can see how it's melting basically the plastic it's like it looks like a glue stick has been applied and then on the bottom it's just dull and it looks like i literally killed the plastic i'm really at this point not really sure what to do all i know is that i messed it up and i'm nervous i i quickly basically run away i put it back in the watch see how it looks and it does not look good especially that bottom left corner that silver you see is kind of is the paint that just got rubbed around not only is there just smudgy paint everywhere but all the other places luckily you can't see it so much in these shadows 
it was just corroded. Like the plastic literally got melted. Like I had to pick little fibers from the Q-tips off of the watch face. It literally, literally got adhesed to it. Trying to find an angle where it hides my mistakes. And there you go. Just get the ring light to cover everything. What? Everything's fine. It's like the old Barbara Walters filter <laughs> that she used to use. All right. So there it is on wrist. And you can't see it as you get farther back. And obviously not everyone is going to be looking at my watch with their nose pressed against the dial. But this is where I start to kind of bargain with myself. I say, let me take it off frame. Let's forget what happened. And then put it back on. Let's pretend you can't even, you don't even remember. And actually, you can't really see it, but you could. So the next day I went back in, I took it back apart. And the reason it's looking so much better is that I just went back in with the traditional rubbing alcohol all over it. I got some of the corrosion off, or at least smoothed it off. I got all that silver off. You can see, though, still, especially up by the Casio, how under the Casio is matte, and then right to the right of it, it again, it looks like a glue stick or something was rubbed on it. That's from the plastic literally just getting broken down and rubbed around. Luckily, the rubbing alcohol fixed it a lot, so I put it back in the watch body, and I'm pretty happy. There are some mistakes still, of course, and we're going to zoom in one more time, but this is a side-by-side -side from how it was when I first messed it up to the next day when I went back in with rubbing alcohol. So on the left is the new and improved, and on the right was when I originally biffed it. Very glad I went back in. And there it is next to the metal Casio Royale. I messed that one up in a totally different way, but that's another video. And there they are side by side. I love them both, and I really, really love the clean dials. It really just elevates the look of these watches. And as you can see, the one on the left was set weeks and weeks ago, but it's only two seconds off the original time because digital watches are cool like that. All right, back to, uh, well, back to me. So all's well that ends well, right? And this ended pretty well. Like I was just saying, though, this is the closest you're ever going to get to my watch. And can you tell that I messed it up? No, you can't. I am glad, though, that I went back in and cleaned it up a bit. I also do have one more idea up my sleeve, if it can fit, where using spray paint could actually be the solution. I just want to do that nice glossy black over the little dial piece. I think that could just make it look extraordinary. Maybe even add some gold flecks or something, but I'm getting ahead of myself and that's a whole nother video. So rubbing alcohol, the way to go. It's just patience. That's what you need. Patience, a little bit of determination. And I do have to say too, because the last video, I'll link it one more time. The first time I took apart a Casio, I was talking about how hard it is, how labor intensive, how sweaty I got, how nervous I was. The second time around, it wasn't hard. In fact, I didn't have to look up anything. I didn't have to figure anything else out again. I just went ahead and did it and it was no big deal at all. The same thing with the rubbing alcohol and the Q-tip. I was complaining about how long it took, how I couldn't find the right way to rub it on the last one. This time, just so much easier. So once you get the first mod or whatever you're doing out of the way, I promise you the second, third time, it's gonna feel like a walk in the park. That's all for now. New videos, by the way, every Tuesday and Friday on this channel. So please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon.